The date was November 20th, 1988. The Buffalo Bills were playing the New York Jets uh, at old, the old Rich Stadium. And if the Bills won the game, they would clinch the AFC East title after uh, a drought of quite a few years before that. And the game was an incredibly close war in the trenches. It was tied at six at the end of regulation. And thanks largely to Fred Smurlitz uh, batting, uh, blocking a field goal, the Bills won nine to six in overtime. And I was at the game, uh, covering the game, uh, to write a front page story for the Buffalo News, not about the football part, but more about the atmosphere, what it was like to be at the game, dealing with the fans, and a little bit about the game, the weather conditions, that kind of information. So I was watching, and at the end of the game, I noticed, as everybody did, thousands of fans swarming the field after the game, tearing down the goalposts. There were Buffalo News picture photos of uh, fans sitting on the crossbar and standing on it and holding on to the upright. And I noticed in a corner of the end zone that four Bills players, Cornelius Bennett, Bruce Smith, Daryl Talley, and Leon Seals, had come out to the locker room after the, you know, clinching the game, uh, had come out to watch the fans storm the field. They were all standing on an NBC camera stand watching the fans. And I noticed that and I said, ooh, maybe that's the story. So afterward in the locker room, I went in and I was able to talk to Daryl Talley, who was one of the four that was on the camera stand. And I asked him what it was like to watch the fans celebrate. And his quote was, what do they call it? Pandemonium? This was fandemonium. It was so much fun. I had never heard the word fandemonium. I wrote it down in my notebook. I made sure to put it high in the story. And luckily, a news copy editor was alert enough uh, to make it part of, the, part of the headline. And the headline of the next day's Sunrise Edition read, this is the top uh, story in the Buffalo News, the banner headline, Fandemonium Breaks Out After Bill's Clinch Division Title. And that, to my knowledge, and to most people's knowledge, was the first time the word fandemonium had been used by anybody in reference to the Bills. And it later became a rallying cry, something that Daryl Talley I believe, invented on the spot on November 20th, 1988.